why do we design all these 5G systems? Why do we need a good wireless interface? So I feel like finishing off today by describing you some of these use cases we did. And the reason we did them is, is because I wanted to make sure that the industry which is going to buy 5G in two years' time will not question the cost, but will understand the value, right? That's the only way of doing it is to go out with them and say, hey, let's design the systems together and let's see what we can do from a design point of view. So we start to engage with uh, different industries here, transport industry, we work with Heathrow, Transport for London, the underground, Network Rail. Uh, we work a lot with the uh, performing arts world, which is very close to my heart, and King's owns the, um, uh, the uh, Cultural Institute as well, which is led by Deborah Bull, uh, who used to be the prima ballerina of the Royal Opera House for many years. Uh, we work a lot with the... Um, with the health services because King's owns four hospitals. So I work here with Professor uh, Desgupta. He's a pioneer in robotic surgery and uh, he's a colleague of mine and it's very simple to work with these guys. So the simple question we ask is why would you need 5G, right? Why would you have uh, any of your stuff upgraded to 5G? Um, so Proca was very interesting and Proca told me, look, Misha, uh, when I do robotic surgery, it's all good, it's very precise. We have no bleeding today anymore. People after the operation can go home pretty much immediately rather than being seven days in the hospital recuperating. But I have the problem, I don't feel. So whilst he operates, he doesn't feel anymore because it's a metal rod going into the body. So he's just, he lost his touch, a feeling of touch. And it's important because he needs to know whether it's an artery, it's a vein, is he cutting the right thing, etc. So we gave him back this feeling of touch. So we built this haptic glove, uh, developed this sensor which goes at the very end of his uh, robotic tools. And whilst he operates, he actually feels uh, what he's doing. The other pro uh, homework he gave me is that, Misha, you know, I'm commuting every day three hours. He lives in North London, operates the guy's hospital in South London. Um, why would we have our best surgeon sit in the underground for three hours rather than doing operations? So um, we said, hey, why don't we put you in a North London hospital just five minutes from your home, right? And you operate down into the South London hospital. And as you can see, the patient is always with medical staff, support staff here. It's just the high-end skill of Proca will be somewhere else, right? So we virtualize that literally, and with the end-to-end -end slicing architecture in London, that works really well. And we started now a really exciting project with uh, in China because the uh, colon cancer detection rate in rural China is very poor. So uh, King's developed this soft robot together with our 5G slicing architecture, put all together, you can use actually high-end uh, skill sets in Beijing and Shanghai to do the diagnosis straight from these capitals, right? So it will hopefully help in rural China.